Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more! The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass! Last time! We did all of the work and got none of the credit. We went on a wild... Goose chase? After Linebeck. And after meeting the man himself, we found that he wasn't half the pirate he was cracked up to be. My voice scares you, doesn't it? It's okay. People tell me that all the time. And we found a sea chart that'll help us go out to sea, but he took it and ran off. This time... We're gonna need to bring in the heavy artillery to convince him. I'm buying ten bombs! Oh, you don't have a bomb bag? You can't sell bombs to people without bags. Oh, silly me, I would've... Like, how could I ever forget that rule of the seas? It's rule number seven of being a pirate. You can never sell bombs to people without bags. It's just... society would collapse. Oh! Shuss. The bridge has been fixed, so I thought I'd check up on the youngsters here. You're an amazing lad to emerge alive from the Temple Link. I know, it was actually a very close call. Usually I give people crap for saying, oh, this first thing you're gonna do is gonna be really hard, but it really did almost cost me my life. Very courageous for one so early in his years. You sent me into that treacherous temple too, yelled Barnacle. Any who enter the temple unprepared will find a terrifying ordeal. And most would lose hearts and flee for their uh, flee for their lives upon hearing me say it. But evidently, there are true heroes among us. Preen my feathers a little more, old man. Yep, I'm famous, all right. Not you, fool. You're a wreck. You would be sunk by now if our young friend here hadn't shown up. I was injured. On a typical day, I blazed through one or two such temples before breakfast. Calm yourself, Linebeck, and tell me what you've made of the temple's map. I've inspected it fully. My trained eye finds that it holds no secrets at all. But wait, old man. What do you know of this map? Ho ho ho! Has this map's puzzle eluded you, Linebeck? If I may see the map. A standard map would simply show you where to go, would it not? This is no standard map. You'll find that one section is a little flaky. Touch it. I trust you can solve the puzzle, Link. Dowsing around when suddenly... Ooh. Sure is a good thing I didn't buy one of these for 500 rupees in the store, because now we can get one for free. That marks the spot of an isle born of volcanic strife. It is the Isle of Ember. A fortune teller named Astrid lives there, and she sees far, Link. So you should ask Astrid if she can see where the ghost ship might be. Isle of Ember, eh? I always suspected there might be something there. So it's as simple as sailing there and finding Astrid. So we're off to the Isle of Ember then. Ciela, I'd like you to go with Link. You'll be essential to his efforts, I'm sure. And by seeing the outside world, you might just find more of your lost memories. Will do. Happy to help. Sorry that we have to pal around with lineback though. Still, uh, I'm I'm happy to sail the sail the seas and see the world. What? Don't tell me I have to haul around that twinkly bit of fluff too. Bah. Fine then. Okay, the Isle of Ember awaits. Ready to set sail, Link? I just want to see what he's gonna react with. Be quick about it then. Adventure calls. What does Osha say about this? Make your way with caution. I know, I don't really trust Linebeck either. <laughs> uh, you! Oh, the captain has returned! The guy standing by the ship is Linebeck! Yep, a captain. Lucky guy. Now we're ready to set sail. Just had to know what everybody was gonna say. <laughs> Off to the open sea with us then! I'll leave all the navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Just draw a line and the ship will follow that exact path. Try it out. You'll never know what he's actually doing in that engine room because he locks the doors. We're gonna go off and see Beetle. Just kind of a rule that where you're gonna find water, you're gonna find Beetle on it. It's a series staple. And off we go. Oh, almost forgot. Killed by excitement, as I was just saying, off we go. 
See that engine on the top right? Tap stop and to stop and re to tap resume go. Yes, I, I, okay. Lying back. I was at least hoping you wouldn't fall prey to the tutorial NPC syndrome, but um, it seems like it's going around a lot lately. Maybe you caught it from Ciela? I mean, she was kind of showing the symptoms a little strongly in the Temple of the Ocean King where you first met her, so maybe it's possible. Let's board the ship. Oh, welcome to Beetle's Shop Ship. I deal in anything and everything. I'm disappointed it doesn't play the voice clip. It would not have been hard to make that fit on the DS. It wouldn't have. What are you looking for, huh? I must know, tap your selection. Oh, I'm currently out of stock, but choice items are in transit. Would I lie? Out of the things that we can buy, Beetle sells red potion, though at a slight markup from on land. This little deed is a ship part, a practical bridge. Now is the time to buy. <laughs> Sounds so gusto with it. We have pink coral, which is apparently it's crazy for this price. That's another treasure item. And then there is a good thing. Collect these and something good is bound to happen. Well, um, I'm sorry, but I am not well off enough to be a collector of good things. I'll have to settle for being a collector of bad things. And I'm doing a pretty good job with lineback. Next, I think we're gonna go to the Cannon Island. Can't hurt us to do a little bit of exploring around the seas. Though I will tell you, if you accidentally sail to a place that you don't want to go to, and you're going away from it, or you're passing by something that looks interesting, you don't need to draw another pathway. It's just as simple as tapping on the location that you want to go to and being close enough to it. Hey, see that weird thing that just service link? It's called a sea trap, and we're headed right for it. We can't attack it, so we only have one other option. Make the ship jump over it. Sounds easy enough. Rule number eight of being a pirate. You are not a real pirate if your ship can't do that. You might be saying that no ship can do that, but you've just never seen real pirates. Cannon Island. I don't think there's really much here for us right now, but like I said, can't really hurt to get, oh, I remember something. Bomb Garden. A nutritious mix of violence and tranquility? Hey, nice to meet you. And not like I don't want to greet you, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Not to talk your ear off. Yep, the postman lives for special delivery. And your name is, got it right here, or it's, it, isn't it Link? I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for you at some point. So, I'd appreciate it if you didn't, you know, shoot me with a slingshot. Thanks for understanding. May you need to sign for deliver. I may need you to sign for deliveries. Thanks. On that note, see you around the sea, sir. I'd like to let the record show that I'm typically a fan of the postal worker, a big fan. But that guy bugs me. What is he? First off, he can't be a Rito because he does not look the part. But he also can't be human or Hylian because those wings aren't artificial. They're a part of his body. He flaps them and they really work. And I've looked into all the books about this game, about Zelda in general. I can find no information about his species at all. He is an enigma. And it's made even worse because of course he knows what his mom was and he just has this uh, solid waste eating grin on his face while he knows that. Also, that guy in there mentioned a cannon and said that he couldn't sell it to us right now and to come back later. That was kind of important, too. Now, while we're going off to the Isle of Ember, you get to hear this music every time you go sailing, and it kind of rules, so I want you to listen. It is such a good theme. Maybe in a lengthier se segment of sailing, I'll let you listen to it more. I just wanted to acknowledge right away how good that theme is. Oh, it's so good that it's the first thing you hear when you turn the game on too. It feels so adventurous and I love it. A sterling example of my helmsmanship, impressed Link. What? You didn't even know where the island was. Who sketched out the course on the sea chart? Yeah, Link did. 
What? You piece of fluff. You just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing. But you get me, right, Link? No! Abuse your captain, will you? Okay, you little adventure monkey. Why don't you run off and find Astrid? I'll be right here waiting for you. Taking care of my ship. Rumph. What? Staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me? Scared? I'm never scared, you little fluttering shrimp. You two go ahead, and I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for your sakes. At this rate, I'm worried he's going to leave without us. Anytime that you ever want to set sail, you just talk to Lineback. He'll remind you of your objective if you've not played in a while. He's actually helpful in that respect. Yes, we know. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna be rolling into every tree for a little while because, like I've shown you, they can have some really primo stuff inside of them. Uh, let me see this rock. Man, I am just batting a thousand here in the way of getting stuff, even though I'm swearing that you get good stuff from it. Uh, let's go into hut numero uno. Um, I see they built the secret passage behind the dresser a few feet too high. Shoddy craftsmanship. I have no respect for anybody who builds a village in a video game like that. Let's go over here. In hut number two, we got a torch. If you're reading my words, it means I have fallen to fate. So look east to pick up the torch and take up my duty. Kayo. Ooh, mystery. I wonder what happened on this aisle, Link. It does seem eerily abandoned so far. Well, uh, this is the fortune teller's house. With any luck, she'll be the only person left alive in her entire village. Well, when I put it like that, it sounds so negative. But one out of three ain't bad. We have a new enemy, Octorox. These are the classic Zelda enemy that just simply shoots rocks at you over a distance. Don't be standing at a 90 degree angle from them when they're facing and you should be fine. Or don't be standing in a, they only shoot 90 degree angles. Don't be standing straight across from them is more what I'm trying to say. We have some upturned earth right here. Can't do anything about that yet, but perhaps maybe it's something you want to remember because it looks out of place. Hang on, Link. Feel a presence on the other side of this door. Hey, I hear footsteps behind there. But this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Ready? Okay, call out to something now, loud and clear. Ho oh, in there! That was almost exactly what I said, which is kind of funny. I wasn't meaning for it to do that. Wh who's there? Someone heard you. You did it, Link. At the cost of my vocal cords, ouch. <laughs> are the monsters gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out here. Who are you? The fortune teller Astrid? Yes, that's right. My name is Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from the monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. I can't open the door from the inside. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but uh, would you open it? Your name is not Linebeck, so yes. Thank you, and good luck, because uh, this will be tricky. Do you see the map hanging beside the door? That map is somehow the key to opening the door. Unfortunately, my only assistant, Kayo, knows the secret of it. Okay, got it. We have to find Kayo and learn the secret. Hold on, Astrid. We'll get you out of there as soon as possible. Uh, I guess she's throwing me under the bus and making me tell her. Mark the locations of the island's three torches. We saw one was in Kayo's house. His house is on fire! Ah! You could argue it is a sign of respect. I mean, not like he's ever going to be living in there again. Back up at Kayo's house, he said to go east so that we could carry on his duty. His duty looks very squishy so far. Gross. <laughs> I need to think before I speak. Do I really do. It is a, it's a weakness of mine, okay? I will not stray away from that. It is something that I do. So, in those huts. Oh, uh, whoa, uh, okay, I guess we got another new enemy. These are blue tektites. They hop all around, generally weak to jump attacks, but they actually take a few hits. They're kind of stepping things up and making things less squishy on us. 
Though uh, they're still pretty squishy. They kind of squish and squash all about while you're hitting them and while they're jumping. Makes them feel very alive. Nothing in that tree, so I'm still not really doing all that good on that front. Fallen adventure. Look, Link. Wow, uh, she's a good fortune teller. This guy knew where he was going to die. <laughs> Brute force will get you nowhere. Ah! It's a ghost! Get him, Link! Uh, wait! Uh, before... Uh, give me some warning before you come at me! I must look really bad, but I swear I'm not, I'm not a bad ghost. I just didn't shower before I died. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. My name's Kayo, and I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. Oh, just look what's become of you. Poor thing. If you believe in fate, then it's not so bad. I do feel much lighter. Of graver concern, though, is what happened to Astrid. It haunts me. We just saw Astrid. She asked us to open the door that locks her in. What? So Miss Astrid is all right? Well, then please open the door for me. I'll tell you the secret. It's the three torches on this island. The three torches on the island are the key to understanding. Keep that in mind, and you might be able to open the door. One torch is right here. Make a note of it in your map, lest you forget. That's gonna make it a little hard to see exactly where it is, but I got a good memory. We knew that when I we saw that when I was taking notes back in the mountain pass. Please take care of Astrid. He just says the same thing. Okay, so he's just giving us the same hint. It's kind of funny how he was saying that what happened to Astrid was a fate worse than death, and yet she was just kind of in a room though. But it's okay. I won't police your English because you're dead and um also the fact that ah no 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 okay you didn't really actually keep anything uh and because uh you didn't know it you admitted it this is a yellow choo choo they are electrified when they are sparking that's kind of how electrical current works uh if you were to hit them while they're sparking you'll hurt yourself but if you wait for them to no longer be sparking just the same as a normal choo choo again with normal enemies just being a little bit rougher Trying to roll into this tree very carefully, and I'm getting ironically not careful, but I got 20 rupees in return for a heart. I think it was a pretty good trade-off. Um, this torch is not on that island. I see what they're doing to trap us here, making us think it's going to be on this island, but it's not. I can't see over there, but I think, you know what? Rule number three of being a pirate. X marks the spot. It was in the top five because the author felt very strongly about it when he was writing the rules about being a pirate. On the way back, I didn't investigate this. Summit path, approval needed for entry. Sure, I'll go get a permit from the city council. <laughs> Reliving the fun memories we've had on this island so far. There was the time that I threatened to burn someone's house down and drew my fantasy of it. The time that we discovered a T-Rex track up north. And the time where I tried to say my two-year-old cousin was responsible for this drawing that I did. Thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me. So you are or no ordinary travelers. May I ask your names? I mean, you just did. Who am I to deny you? Link, it evokes kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Now tell me, what brought you to the... Wow, screw Ciela. <laughs> uh, a ship! Vacation! Uh... Vacation, I think not. It's a barren island with a volcano. The wonders it does for my complexion are very important reasons. Hmm. You're forgetful. You might want to add more muscle to your mind. Try to remember. Why did you come to our island? Er, the, I like how these options are different every time. Okay, now they're no longer different. Gotta find that looping point, just like I've said. Link is looking for his friend who was taken by the ghost ship. Astrid, we were hoping that you might have some insights. Is that so? The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. That's why I was hidden away, to escape its ruinous reach. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Kaio since then. Astrid, about that, well, Kaio, he's... I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw, but it was destiny. Well, life has little use for mourning, so Kaio thought. Shall I tell you your fortune? Please wait for me upstairs. If there, if any others are with you, please bring them along with you to my chambers. Assemble yourselves 
and I will join you after I make preparations. Confound it! You think someone who sees the future would be on time? Where is Astrid? Let's get our fortunes told and be done with it. Greetings. Now if everyone is here, we can begin. Open my eyes to the future, a sinister darkness, the mighty sea, and the voice of sacred light. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. If you really want to find the ghost ship, Link, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra? Been there, done that, do it all over again. Oh, very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. Now, make haste to the Temple of Fire on the summit of this island. There, you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts that place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have it within you to alter our doomed course of events, Link. But the light that seeks your help is growing faint. Please hurry. Power of darkness, eh? Hey, kid! I, uh, just remember that I have to go polish the ship's rudder. Uh, later, kid. Sheesh. What's with the Lineback? Oh, just let him be and hurry to the temple. You're right. I'll let Lineback make his own mistakes. Does Astrid say anything else? I've re released the seal on the door to the summit. Oh, man. When I heard they needed special permission, my grand plan was that I was going to run for mayor, and because you were the only two people on the island, I was going to count on you not running against me, and I was going to grant myself permission. Is it weird that I, when I see an island of dead people, I just think of ways to take advantage of the situation? I didn't think so. And that is the Isle of Ember. We saved Astrid, we figured out our next course of action, and the next time on The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, we're heading to the summit of the island and seeing spirit that needs our help. See you guys then. There, now we have perfect closure.